How's it going, y'all? What's up? To my YouTube friends who haven't been in streams lately, welcome to my new apartment. It's actually my living room. Um, I don't have proper lighting for these videos yet, so apologies on that front. I tried to make it as best I could, but um, not that I really had proper lighting at the last house anyway, um, but it's all right. But uh, what's up? It's an update here in the middle of June, because why not? Um, so... I'm back, um, hopefully for the long haul. Um, basically what spurred this decision for me is I saw that YouTube changed their partner program stuff in the wake of Twitch doing a lot of shitty stuff and wanting people, or like a lot of people have been wanting to leave Twitch, right? Because they're getting really shitty about other ways of making money on their platform. And so Google and YouTube took advantage of this, um, as they should, those smart little cookies, and decided to give some benefits to people earlier. So for those that don't know, now if you have 500 subscribers and or three public uploads in the last 90 days, and then either, I believe it's 3,000 watch hours in the last uh, year, or I believe three million plus shorts views in the last 90 days, um, you will get access to a kind of mini partner program. Like you, you, you get some of the benefits of the partner program. So as far as I'm aware, I haven't fully read into this. I didn't see it. I'm pretty sure videos are not monetized, but you get access to super chats, super stickers, and like to the merch store. Essentially kind of like, Twitch's affiliate, except, you know, you can monetize streams once you hit affiliate on Twitch. That's about the only thing you can't do on YouTube, but it gives you access to all of basically the stream subscriptions, as well as like membership, stuff like that. So you can start making money that way, um, which I'm honestly super happy with YouTube for doing this. Thank you. Thank you. But that also means that I'm over halfway there already here. And I was also kind of thinking about my future at Twitch uh, following this because it's a tough decision for me right now. Um, one, I like Twitch's interface a lot better than YouTube's. I like being able to stream there. I think it has a lot more streamer friendly options, but it has been a while since I've used, like I've streamed on YouTube and I know they've been adding a lot of bells and whistles and I've seen more and more people streaming on YouTube. So I'm willing to give it another shot. And that is something that will potentially be in the future here. Um, but uh, I'm looking into that. And then I also just think, uh, I, I, I'm i excited for YouTube. I, I am not a fan of Twitch and by extension Amazon constantly taking things away from users versus giving, um, especially creators. Whereas YouTube was doing that for a while. It's it's kind of funny how the tables have turned because for a while YouTube was kind of the only thing, and so they had really open stuff, and then they started to close and close and close and close in a little bit, and then you see competitors like Twitch, Mixer for a time, rest in peace, um, Facebook Gaming, all these other competitors um, being like, hey, we need to take this down a notch, and now. YouTube, because Twitch is the big one, it's kind of starting to close, 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 close. And now YouTube's like, hey, you know, we've got this infrastructure built. Why not use it? And here we're going to make it even easier for you to make money since Twitch is making it harder. So it took some balls. That was a ballsy move from YouTube. But anyway, I'm almost there, guys. So I figured, why the hell not? So that being said, I started working on a video that will be coming soon. Hopefully it is one that the masses enjoy, but I also want to try experimenting with some other stuff. Um, I was just talking to my girlfriend about this the other day, um, who I have a girlfriend now that I live with. That's pretty dope. Um, another life update since the last one. But uh, <laughs> yes, <yeah, it's, laughs> shit's been uh, crazy the last few months. But um, I was talking to her about scrolling through YouTube about how it's just so much of the same nowadays and it just doesn't, I, I never feel 
like there's any content that I genuinely want to watch. And so I coming back to YouTube again for like the 17th time um, and giving it another go. I want to emphasize and I've, I've said this before, but I I really want to create something I feel like isn't on the platform. And that doesn't necessarily mean an entirely new style of video. I'm not fucking Jesus. But um, I do want to really try to create videos that uh, benefit things better. Like, it, it feels substantial, you know? Um, one of those is my top 25s, those lists. People really, really love my lists. And so I'm going to try to continue to make them because I think... A lot of lists will kind of showcase the big AAA stuff that everybody already knows about, um, which obviously I have plenty of AAA games in my videos. Let's not fret. I mean, those have the most resources, so there's bound to be a lot of really great ones in there. Um, but I feel like there aren't too many lists that have some of those more niche experiences. And so that's something I pride myself in, um, is being able to do that. But I'm, I'm not trying to talk myself up too much here. But that's one of the things that I try really hard to focus on. And I just, yeah, going forward, I just want to keep making content, A, that you guys want, and B, that feels like it has a place in YouTube versus something that's already taken. So that's what I'm going to be working on for the next couple weeks here is trying to nail that down and try to get a flow going. Um, I'm also still going to be streaming on Twitch, you know, because uh, another thing is that I, I make money right now on Twitch. It's a very insignificant amount, but it is something. I still don't make anything here on YouTube, and I've talked about it a few times before, about how that's kind of been the driving factor of why I've been putting more energy into Twitch than I do YouTube, because that's something I can actually monetize right now. But now with these lower requirements for YouTube, it has definitely given me a renewed focus to try to focus some energy onto YouTube because as much as I love creating content and I would just love to do this all day, it doesn't pay the rent. <laughs> and so I can only devote a certain amount of time to this sort of stuff, but I don't have that much time to stream. And it, it, it's kind of crazy because back in the day I would stream because that's what I had time for because I didn't have to do all of the background stuff. But now I have all this sporadic free time, so it's so much easier for me to just work on YouTube videos because I can do it sparingly versus Twitch where I have to dedicate hours to this stream. So it's kind of also funny how the tables have turned where YouTube just seems like such a more beneficial um, content creation platform for me now than Twitch when it was the opposite a year ago. So Twitch streams aren't necessarily going anywhere. Um, I'm still gonna try to stream at least once a week. Um, still need to finish Zelda. But um, I'm going to try making some more YouTube videos. And I, I think in these first couple weeks, I'm not going to. But I think going into July, I want to try streaming again on YouTube. Just dip my toes in, see how it feels, um, gauge it a little bit. Um, because, again, I'll, I'll gain a lot of streaming stuff as well once I hit that 500 for, like, the, the super chats and whatnot. And so I do want to dip my toes into streaming here. So I think that would be really fun as well. Um but yeah, I got some cool stuff coming. I'm hoping to bring back giveaways before too, too long, like by the end of the year. So it's like a medium term goal for me is to bring back giveaways to do some fun stuff there. Um, I'm still working. We I moved into this new apartment um, just under a month ago. And so I've been working to try to turn this place into a home, someplace where um, I can feel is mine because I was in my mom's basement for a year and before that a less appealing environment and so I'm excited to just have this place of my own where I can just customize and like with my girlfriend who I'm very much in sync with and so we can just kind of make this our own place um so I've been devoting a lot of energy to that lately but I'm excited as I'm settling in now um to get something going here one to hopefully rake in some dough <laughs> But also, uh, to be building a community here, because that's what I've said a billion times over, um, my favorite thing about Twitch is the community aspect, and I think I can really build that on YouTube as well, um, of just people that I really enjoy spending time with and being around, um, such as Brooke and Manny and Eric, my boy MD, and just a bunch of the other regulars, and over on Twitch mostly, but some here on YouTube as well. Edith, love you immensely. Um, 
yeah, just I'm excited. And hopefully I can be more regular here as I'm just getting. I also started a new job recently um, within the last month. And so I've been getting accustomed to that. Just a lot of change this last couple months. And so it's been very difficult to get something routine going when everything else is in chaos. So as things are settling down here, I am being able to do more stuff, you know, on the Twitch side of things and on the content creation side of things. So like I said, I started a video yesterday, um, got a, a good chunk of it through, hoping, fingers crossed, to get it done in the next week. But again, a little irregular, so I'm not going to say anything concrete. But I'll have a video out soon. Um, and just hoping to keep uh, keep working on something, to always be working on something. I, my goal is to work on YouTube things every day, even if it's just a little bit. Just to set some time aside each day to work on this because i think i can do something really special here sorry i ate not too long ago and all this talking is bringing it up um i'm just gonna vomit all over the camera <laughs> it's giving me hiccups though so i'm gonna wrap things up but thank you guys for your support to those still around thank you to those that think i have abandoned them fear not i'm here who knows how long this time i can't even promise I'll... i've said this so many times I, I really just got to show you guys that I'm here. I, I'm, the, the amount of videos I've titled I'm back or like something along those lines. There's probably like seven of them. I don't fucking know. But yeah, let's. Uh, so, yeah, um, take a hit for the bros. Do well. Um, 420 for life. Um, smooth jazz. Zelda's great. And so is Starfield because I. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Before I leave you guys. Another great part about this setup, I got a lot of space. Look at this bad boy. Eh? That's right, I got the Starfield controller. Don't focus on me, focus on that. That's right. It's so sexy. It's got the transparent fucking triggers. Isn't that just the sexiest thing you've ever seen? That's so nuts. I just got it last night. Yeah, last night. It's beautiful. I've used it. It feels great. Um, can't wait to play Starfield on this. I also pre-ordered the Collector's Edition, so I'm getting that sexy smartwatch because I've always wanted a smartwatch, so why not get a video game smartwatch? Sounds good to me. All right, I'm getting out of here. Again, videos soon. Hopefully some streams soon coming over on Twitch and soon to be here. But other than that, uh, like, if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time for whatever it is I'm doing. All right, see ya.